Well, you know, I always dreamed of, of what it would be like to actually create something. And being a golfer, that was golf courses. It was something on my bucket list that I always wanted to do. I've spent so much time on a golf course and I've been on the PGA Tour and the Champions Tour 31 years now. And growing up as a kid, I, I worked maintenance on a golf course and, and uh, mowed greens and built bunkers and things like that. I love the smell of freshly cut grass and uh, all the trees or the water and the lakes and everything that made a golf course really special to be on. Now I'm, I'm out here in Colorado and uh, I got this opportunity through uh, Martin Lynn to uh, just come out of the ground with a new golf course named Rain Dance on an incredible piece of land. Getting to know Fred, I could just tell that he had this passion for basically fair and fun golf. When I asked him about building the course, he goes, I've got a million ideas. Martin took me at the bottom of the property looking up and then it, that's the wow factor. It's ridiculous how pretty it is. And it changes all the time. Brain dance is a pretty dramatic piece of land. It's an amazing, unique setting because the river and the riparian area allows all the wildlife to play and, and have safe harbor up in these arroyos. The same arroyos have been there for a thousand years. It's just going to be magnificent and it's going to be a very fun course for the novice, but it's going to be very challenging for the studs. It kind of designed itself. We got out there and walked it and we're just going around all these arroyas and just, man, this is a beautiful hole. This is a beautiful hole. And then you really think the golf course will have a signature hole. It seemed like this golf course, we have 18 signature holes. There's several ecosystems you're going to get to play in. When you're up on the top, you're in this vista with very arid and cactusy. But when you get down in the river bottom, that you know you're in hundred-year-old cottonwood trees and wetlands by the tee box. The golf course scale-wise is going to be really unique. This course, the land demands big. It needs to be big, big fairways, big greens, big bunkers. But right out of the gate, we're starting at the top of the property and, and we're aiming the tee, the green, and Long's Peak. It's just a perfect piece of land to design a golf course on. That'll be really special, really different. That will stand out among any golf course in the world, I believe. It's the ideal setting for a golf course because the, there's no homes in play. So when you're in rain dance golfing, there is absolutely no obstruction to your enjoyment of that, which is really a cool setting. Trying to create walking areas so that people can get around the golf course and really have a good time, maintain all the vistas and have a clubhouse that's just very functional and a lot of glass where you're just gonna see everything. Plans for a hotel, some cottages, and, and on and on. We're gonna have a, uh, they call it a horse course with this gigantic green we're gonna have. And it could be a putting green where you just drink beer and have fun. And, and so it'll be multifunctional where the people that don't even play golf can come in and really enjoy that property. Where the range is gonna have snow dance, where it'll be a snow bunny hill in the wintertime then adding things to the driving range, like amphitheaters and in the wintertime, snowmaking, just brings a lot more to this course. Some of these arroyas are magnificent. So I see these glamping experiences and these back to nature experience where you can go down there, stargaze, spend the night, and again, bringing more uses into a typical setting where, where you wouldn't on a golf course. Normally golf courses at night, they go to sleep, they lock the gate, you know, but these I think we're gonna be able to find a lot of other uses. Rain dance can be unique. The second you drive in, you're gonna see this enormous vistas of the driving range tee box and the entire valley of Windsor. Yeah, my goal is to design a golf course that will be fun for everybody, yet challenging for the really good players. And I want a person to walk off the 18th hole and say, I can't wait to do that again. I, I'm really excited. I really believe it's gonna get a lot of recognition early. I think people are gonna get the wow factor just because it's of what it is already. It was there waiting for somebody to just put the stroke of a, of a bulldozer on that thing and, and start moving some dirt around and create this really special uh, golf course.